Hey everyone. I'm Alfred. But so much of me is wrong. Out of place. You might be too late. You know me. When I make a promise. You keep it. I do know how to pick them. Lucky me. And we're back to Sass. You still have it. The activation index from the first Halo ring. Does that thing look like Mjolder? I hung on to, just in case. I just noticed that. It looks like the classical drawing of Thor's hair and Mjolnir. Naturally. I I'd try shooting my way out. The namesake for Mixed the armor Chief's wearing. Also, holy shit, what an amazing line. Just keep your head down. Chief There's is often considered by many to be like a boomer shooter hero. And I think it's just wishful thinking. Or that he's like a token like get me out of this place non uh non classic shooter character cuz like no at last i see mexican food am i right guys that's dumb i should go back to being salty rather than lowest common denominator jokes about farting a lot after eating beans jesus christ Laura, we need to buy some time. How much does that reactor, cost? Start a chain reaction. Yep. Destroy. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. I don't know if I did that right. I'll check again in a bit. Got some problems. Actually, I could also. Okay, by the looks of it, I have. Thank you, Bubble Shield. Easier said than done. As is the case with all but silence, of course. Ugh. Boy, is that gooey. Well, I have Compton, uh, commented on something very clever. Um, I, forget, I forget who exactly said which part. But um, we commented on how the Half-Life um, headcrabs are obviously like H.R. Giger's. Is this still here from where I set it down? That's kind of fun about it. Head crab, half life, very much like Jesus, guys, really? Fuck you. Much like face huggers that lead to xenomorphs in the alien franchise. Um. But that head crabs are much more yonic. Which is to say, you know. A face hugger sticks its, you know, phallic appendage. Not saying it's a penis, but it's a phallic appendage. You know, sticks that in you. And then you become one of them. Or in actuality, you give birth to a new creature. Because, you know, obviously it's meant to be like a, a weird rape thing. You know, that's pretty obvious. It's a very base form of humor very primal for humanity. I said humor. That's not all I meant. Horror. The wires in my brain with 
H words that end with R got crossed. Pardon moi. Is that a double jump? That's not allowed. Get back here. Cool. God. Hey, this is another level where I'm backtracking. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, with the headcrabs, they stay with you and become a part of you, and your chest opens and looks like, you know, looks yonic, like uh, a basic primitive depiction of uh, vulva, as opposed to the weird, gooey, knobby, phallic stuff that's present on a xenomorph and on a facehugger. Man, the spines on those things are bad. I've got a friendly contact. It was probably a big inspiration for the flood here as well. with how they burrow into you. Not completely different from a... Uh, not completely different from a... Uh, a fess hugger. Can you barbecue those, man? Thank you. Keep jumping. He's like, what are you? I want a hug. Stop it. Again, very clearly JPEGs. So many JPEGs. And most of them are pretty high quality JPEGs, but... You know, they're JPEGs. And hey, we're back here. Level 9. I wonder how big the Ark is, because the Ark is pretty huge. We are aboard. Something that would have Humans. to build a ring, you know, which is around like the Earth. Has to be as big as the Earth. Where's the JPEG? You see a lot more of these. I wonder if they ran out of time. Yes, ma'am. I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better you know, than close, Sergeant Major. Roger that. I wonder if they ran out of time in this game. I wouldn't think that they would, considering, like, how much hype it got, how much... <laughs> like, how much stuff was put into it. I really don't think that this game is something that would have been rushed, you know? And yet, I wonder if it was. Halo, it's so new, unfinished. I'm not exactly sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll head for the portal. Thank you, Arby. Have a long tour home. Full circle. Because, of course, this is another nostalgia level to evoke the first Halo. I'm like, you want to talk about a rushed game. Halo 1, you go through the first chunk of it, right? And then there's a little bit at the, and then there's a little bit in the middle that's that's new stuff. And then the last third of the game is the first half backwards. Uh, loosely. So you see half of the game's content twice. And there's only one fifth of it, I think, that you only see one time. The I 
think that math adds up. There's only one fifth of it that you only see once. Whereas with, um, I've heard that one a lot too. Like those on higher difficulties. Did you think me defeated? Blood infection, yada yada pods. I heard a lot, no, not, though not in a while. That said, it is a simple and smart way to make a game. Yeah, kind of thought that would be too close. But yeah, like it's a it's it's something that happens in Devil May Cry Four. You play through the first like three fifths of the game. Or like, it's almost like four sevens of the game. It's a very, a very specific number. And then... You play that all backwards. Slightly faster and as a different character. So it is, you know, relatively fresh, but it is also rather transparently the first, you know, four sevenths of the game backwards and then that makes up uh, like two sevenths and then the last seventh of the game is new content for character one and character two to fight the final boss and it's like a cool staged fight where like all of the rad outer gear is taken care of by the more competent second character. Yep. Because there's only like one checkpoint and it's right at the start here. Flood dispersal pod, that's what she says. Let me clear out some of this, you know? I gotta finish my plate, Katana. Feels very good to see them just disintegrate and come apart. Even at such high range. Is that just the arbiter being like, ugh, gross, yucky? He's like, that's fair, man, me too. Shit, we all come down. It's just so good to just plug dudes. But yeah, only like... Uh... What is it? The second level? I forget exactly. It's not Sierra was What's the name of it? I mean, I just played it, so I should know, but it's the second level in this fucking game. And it feels the way that, you know, the end of Halo 1 feels. A little disingenuous. Where you just, you got these guys. Okay, run them over here, now run them over here, now run back here, run over here. Yada yada. Song and dance. It's one of the things where you think of like bad or boring level design. That's what I think of. I think of stuff like that. Where they have not made enough level for you to not have to backtrack all over the place. God damn it, I'm just boring. Guys, do the lawns have to be so fucking clean? Also, it's 7 in the morning. It's very conceivable people could still be asleep. Is there no reason this can't be done at like 3? I remember seeing my shadow too as a kid and I was like, oh, radical. So I might go fresh into Halo 4 right after this. Um, as it happens, I often do record two Halos side by side back to back. 
because when I played um, Reach, I recorded Wars soon afterwards. God damn it, I don't know. Did you think we defeated? Oh, good. I gotta check. The B skip. A little gun jumping never hurt anyone. Besides the times that it did. What if I could complain to my apartment? I feel like that'd be really petty, but honestly, I want people to stop mowing the lawn. Seven in the goddamn. Very few things need to be done at 7 in the morning, much less mowing a lawn. I'm gonna grab a different gun. Don't exactly have something, you know, for small arms. This isn't, but it'll do. Yeah, when I played Reach, I did Wars pretty soon after. Maybe I'll just roll right into four. That'll give me a lot of time to think about what the hell I'm going to do. Because as I mentioned, once I play four, I'm done with Halo games on PC. I will either need to get an Xbox One, wait for a port, or wait for Halo Infinite. None of which sound pretty good to me. Um, and granted, I will play other video games in the meantime. I'm not a Halo-only channel. I got you covered, Chief. Meet you at the top of that tower. Thank you, Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, like I'm not a Halo exclusive channel by any means. Um, honestly, it might be a weakness of my channel in general that I do not have a focus. Like, it's not even that I only play RPGs. I feel like it makes hard uh, for YouTube huh? to recommend my channel because some people show up for shooters moving, and then tell me to fuck off with everything else I make. And some people are there for RPGs and, like, RPG fans will play, like, a kind of RPG and then call that a night, you know? They don't need to come around for other kinds. But I don't really have a focus, which is, uh, like, hard to get behind because, like, if someone only makes Doom videos, then that's a pretty open and shut case for what kind of content they make and who would like it. Because, like, hey, if you like one guy... Like, hey, I, I make videos about Doom, you know? I'm a fucking Doom 2. If you like Doom and you like this one video that I saw, you're going to like every other one I've ever made. Get at it, you know? But in my case, I don't really have that luxury. I play and talk about almost everything. Man. I was gonna say, now that I'm getting into Star Trek and watching that with Aaron, I should let's play that with her. But she never got too deep into streaming or LPing. But like, she got enough, so she might be. Enough. But like, on the other hand. That game is cursed. It's the last game that uh, Matt and Pat of Best Friends Play played before the channel broke up. And what's more, uh, the only other well-known LP of it I've seen is uh, featuring now a, 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 a child in danger and sex offender. 
And also a guy who uh, doesn't deserve all the bad things that happen to him. Of course, much of them are mostly like... How do I put this? Adjacent to... Uh, well, we are flagrant disregard for rules by his co-workers, but... So anyway, my point is, maybe I shouldn't even think about playing the fucking Star Trek game. I mean, what am I going to get out of it? It's a mediocre, like, Gears of War clone. With the crappy reboot movie. I don't even know if it features, like, the real guys, and it's about as, like, stock and token as you can get for shooters. Oh man, I hope there's an early checkpoint. Next to this thing, maybe? Oh, no. Might also be good to only walk backwards while using this thing to ensure that I'm not going to get caught in my own ease. Oh, hey, the checkpoint's done. Fleets of thousands consume the galaxy of flesh and mind and bone. Is there a lot of bone in this galaxy? I mean, I guess he doesn't say calcium. He just says bone. Who knows how, what kind of bones, uh, what kind of things bones are made out of in this crazy whacked out space future we're in. I say space, uh, space future. It's one word uh, because of uh, manly guys doing manly things. An excellent webcomic that is now sadly discontinued. The main character, Commander Badass, lives far enough in the future that it doesn't really matter. It's just the future for basically almost anyone's standpoints. Chief! Arbiter! Let's move! Yeah. And he always refers to himself as coming from, like, I think he just says the generic space future every time. Generic, one word, space future, one word, two words total. That's so goddamn funny to me. Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? It's I, trying to rebuild itself on I this ring. I think it's ring. you. Hurry, control room's close. I would argue that you're the foe, my man. I wonder if the halos can be used to fire, like... Like, cause most, like, one of the halos are destroyed, and this one's, you know, coming back into place, but most of them are, are still fine. If they fired all of those, do you think it would, like, affect six sevenths of all life in the galaxy? Or would it hit, like, everything except the little quadrant that that's in? Or is it, like, one magnitude greater every time a new ring gets added? Yank me, Chief. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose her, too. Youch. Oh, hello. Wonderful news. The installation is almost complete. Terrific. 
Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. We don't have a few more days. B but a premature firing will destroy the Ark. Deal with it. We'll destroy hmm. this installation. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. How could we have Absolutely seen this coming? Protocol dictates action. I see now that helping you was wrong. I mean, Jesus, guys, did no one see that coming? But this ring is mine. Totally forgotten. Oh, there we go. We just gotta wait. Can I get that fan? Yes. Stop now before one of us gets hurt. So there's a thing that you can do. You can take Johnson's Spartan laser Except from him. And then using another weapon, drop it on the floor. And then swap them, and then swap them again, and keep walking them along the hallway out here. And you start the level with, with this. And it can be a good way to make sure that you don't have to deal with this shit. Oh no. One of the biggest problems in this whole stupid franchise is finally dealt with. How will we ever survive? Anyway. So, as is the case for a Halo game, the only thing left is to do a big dumb drive out through the entrance. I'm getting you out of here. No, no, you're not. No, don't let her go. Don't ever let her go. Until the seven year point where she inevitably <laughs> dies or goes crazy. Send me out. He could come back. He did before. I feel like the reason that um, Johnson comes back, though, is because, like, in addition to them just playing liking the guy and wanting to do more with him, namely this, probably, uh, Halo was just in such a place where, you know, its lore was not being scrutinized. I know Eric Neeland was, you know, cranking out books like nobody's business. But, like, for real, though, the lore was not that heavily monitored. But, you know, now it is. And now there's no way that they could bring back Sergeant Johnson. But, it's happened before. I am sorry, Spartan. Come. Maybe it's a Gandalf thing. You know, you get your one. Man. Dealing with those things is a cinch with this. Oh, that's funny. You just automatically pick it up. You know what? Me too, man. Let's go. It's gonna be awesome. Cool dual wielding plasma rifle buddies. I should record while hungry. I was just thinking about how like some of my uh, like commentary was. Eh, it could be better. I don't want to like apologize for. We still have a chance. Madness. I don't want to be like, oh, it's you know, impossible. But you know, I could have been a little more on. One thing is that I am still an amateur. I will say, even having done this for a year and a half now. 
Uh, I don't consider myself Find like the doorway in the cliffs, Chief. The dawn is on the other side. I'm aware. You know, even having done this for a year and a half, I still feel as though I I'm still very new at it. And I in fact learn like new shit about it every day. Gotta go with the man. I skipped it last time. Not gonna have that happen again. Um Sorry, I'm just having fun, don't mind me. But like recently I was like, oh man, I should look into my microphone when I when I give my sign off. And like it was just something that I really hadn't been doing a whole lot. And I was like, shit, I should have been doing that. You know? Always, always got new stuff to learn, no matter what it is. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. I mean, honestly, Cortana, having survived one, you'd think that we would have taken that and gone, you know? We survived two, that's just implausible. Like, I would be like, yeah, that makes sense. It really, it really is wild that... Wow, no wonder they use these things. Just chew there, through stuff. Johnson's warthog. Up on, Come bud. on, Spartan. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Fucking stupid. So, yeah. It's the end of a Halo game. We've got to do a big dumb drive. And, in fact, we even have the same, like, area to do it on that we did last time. We have these big, uh, like, girder things. Alright. I hope everybody's ready. Uh, I can't keep the smile off my face. It's, it's too good, you know? No matter how dated or weird this game gets, no matter how much I prefer Reach or wish I was playing Half-Life, like, oh my god, it's the fucking Warthog run. This is, this is eternal. This is the best. You're never going to top it. No one is. Not even Halo. Like, Halo wasn't going to top it, and then they gave, and then they gave us this. And they were like, well, that's better than the one in three. And it's, it's the best. It's the, it's the fucking best. Ooh, landed! It. Nice. And granted, it is just a slightly more upscaled version of the exact same run from one. But like, by now we're so much more immersed in the lore. We know so much more. We've seen so much more. It's not just... Like, it's not just jackals, grunts, and elites in the Covenant. There's the drones and the brutes and the prophets and the engineers in fact land it and there's more that we know about the Prometheans and the fucking forerunners and all of that and there's more that we know about the world and about earth and there's so much more to be fighting for like Mombasa earth is just earth as a concept in Halo 1 but now it's like We've been there, we've seen it, you know? Remember Reach, that's what we're fighting for. So that doesn't happen a second time. Wow. Big finish, huh? And like, the music is better, the graphics are better. It shouldn't matter, but it totally does. It totally, totally does. And like, now, th this is the bed that we've made and now we're lying in. Not only is this ring something we put together ourselves, like, essentially hacked together out of, you know, spare parts we found in the ark. But what's more, like, we fired it. We're blowing it up. Hell yeah. We couldn't let Spark get away with his one last, like, act of trying to stick it to the humans. Because we're the chosen, we're the galaxy's chosen, you know? Like, 
it's the vest. The, it's the it's the warthog. You know. I know that there is one in. Man. I know that there is one in one, and they do one in other games as well because it's great. But like. This is the warp. This one can't be top. It won't be. <laughs> it's the best, man. Like, they can put so much larger of an area and put more curves and loops in it as well compared to the one at the end of uh, the one. <laughs> and there's so much more enemies and so much more stuff going on set pieces, noises and the music man Marty O'Donnell with that fucking Sounds of Ireland it's great it's the best like I keep saying it's the best and like that is enough but I want to go back and give more reasons as to why and it's the best Oh god. This, this is just one of those things that, like, justify me playing Halo. I feel like everyone should know this, you know? Like, in the same way that I think everyone should know about at least Lord of the Rings, specifically, if not all of Tolkien's Legendarium. And, like, having seen it, yes, I think everyone should see Star Trek and see Dune, because they're important things that everyone else ripped off. And, like, these are the moments where I'm like, yes, everyone should have a passing knowledge of Halo to understand why it changed video games forever. Specifically the shooter genre, but a lot of other things got impacted. They should know, you know? Oh god. <laughs> See the arc. I never, I never stopped to look up and see it, but like, holy shit! Ninety percent firing sequence initiated. I'm aware. I don't know if you know this, Cortana, but the reason we're going at this speed is because it's the fastest one available. Believe you me, if we could go faster, we would. Arbiter's here. That makes anything better. I don't think that there's a single... Anything that wouldn't be made better by the inclusion of the Arbiter. Hang on. Even if it already features Keith David, you know? Actually, in Saints Row 4, the character Julius, who's voiced by Keith David, Meets up with Vice President Keith David, also voiced by Keith David. And they comment on how, like, people say we sound alike, Chief. and they're like, ah. Hell, fucking yeah. The way that it's shot is so good. It's classic, you know? We don't make it. We'll make it. <laughs> I still can't believe his name's John.
<laughs> it's the best, man. <laughs> it's the fucking best. For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. Look at that guy's polygon head. Holy but shit. Let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. Howling dark. That's pretty dope. For their decision required courage beyond measure. He's got a polygon head too. Sacrifice. Jesus. No wonder people keep hats and helmets on. They're supposed to be jagged. Fight, our fight was hell. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren. A memorial to heroes fall. They ennobled all of us. And they shall not be forgotten. Freeze it up! Standing by him to the end. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy. <laughs> so, if you play this game again on the hardest difficulty, it will unlock a secret cutscene where Chief is hanging out in, you know, the very, very bottom of the boat. And hops Things into a cryogenic freezing pod. Without the prophet's lies. You know, to wait for the next Halo game. I would like and for people who didn't play this game on Legendary and didn't see that, four starring Master Chief was a big surprise. <laughs> By your word, Take us home. Of course, you know, we are now post the internet. And if there's a secret cutscene unlocked only on the hardest difficulty then someone will just do it and post it so everyone else can see. But at the time, it was still kind of early. That's so fucking cool. Oh, we're into uh, 2553 now. Or it's so easy. Chief, can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you too. Never mind. Oh, of course. Um, I think Master Chief Collection just shows you these things. What happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, with a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. But yeah, I forgot the Master Chief Collection did this. Uh, I think only some cutscenes that are like goofy are still locked. That you did it. The truth and the covenant, the flood, it's finished. It's finished. The fight is finished, in fact. Remember how we ended too with finish the fight? I'll drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years even. I miss you. Wake me when you need me. <laughs> so, in addition to Halo 4 
you know, starring Master Chief. Like, people were blown away, like, he's still alive? The trailer and the game itself both open with, Chief, I need you. Which is like, oh shit, she said the thing. But yeah, I've been sherpered through this game by uh, many people over the years. Uh, until, you know, as mentioned, I stopped playing it. Because, like, as a dumb kid, I preferred Reach. And, like, this game has a good story. But 46! Crime and Nintley. Um, I don't even know where I go for that. <laughs> That's goofy. Uh, but yeah, like, it's, it's cool to go back to this game. I've got to say, still now, I, I do still prefer Reach. Um, ODST is great as just a little picture of humanity in a war. Because, like, you feel like such a normal guy in ODST, and that's kind of great. Um, Reach is just fantastic. It's a great place to start. It's a great place to end. Like, Reach is good at everything it sets out to do. And it's because it's, at the end of the 360 generation, well, for Halo at least, um, and it knocks everything it did out of the park because they had a lot of games beforehand to practice. <laughs> um, but, like, 3 is still really good. I'm not sure where all like the trilogy sits i might honestly want to just put them together as a single thing halo wars is still probably my least favorite thing ever um least favorite halo thing i have i have things that i hate more than halo reach obviously uh man i wonder if we're gonna get to a halo 7 because like halo 1 2 and 3 halo 1 combat has been evolved you know Halo 2, holy shit, it's getting a sequel. Halo 3, finish the goddamn fight. It's burned into my mind. I can't get away from it. Holy moly, you know? That's the trilogy. Bam. 1, 2, 3. And then 4, 5, and infinite. Well, you know. 4, 5 Guardians, infinite. But it is, you know, it's its own trilogy. And I wonder... Because 7 is the lucky number for Bungie, specifically, but it's become a whole thing for Halo as well. And I wonder if we're going to get Halo 7. Because we have had 7 Halo games. More than 7, in fact. Uh, and we've had 7 first-person shooter games, as of right now. But we have, we're going to have 6 about just Chief, and so I wonder what the future holds for him. I think that people are going to call Fiat if he ends up back in a cryogenic pod again. Like, it's going to be like fucking Boba Fett. Just, hey, he's out of the Sarlacc pit for this episode. And there he goes, back into the Sarlacc pit. You know? That used to happen very frequently in the extended universe. Boba would always end up out of the pit so they could use him in a story. And then by the end of the book or comic or anything, he would go right back in. Um... Anyway. But yeah, I currently don't know what the future holds for Halo. All I can do is play 4, which uh, will be for the first time beating it. I did get it uh, pretty close to when it came out, actually. I don't think I pre-ordered it, and I don't know if I got it new. I think I got it for the Christmas that year. Um, and it came out in November, so it was still pretty new when I played it. Uh, but yeah, I don't... I have not beaten 4, and I don't completely know all of the gameplay details. But... For me to find out, I guess. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of the games I play on my channel are so people can see my raw reactions. Actually, I didn't mention that in this LP. Uh, that was a different one that I recorded today as well. But yes, I do a lot of things for the sake of fresh reactions. And hey, you know what? I'm finally beating four is a big one, so I'll do that, I guess. Um, I've been Alfred. That's Short Trail Friedrich. And this has been Halo 3. Uh, please. 
treat yourself to any other of the Halos I've played through because I've done all of them except for... I've done every Bungie Halo game. Wow. Every Halo game developed at Bungie or while Halo was still owned by Bungie. Because Halo 5, Halo Wars 2, and 4 are all not Bungie. Um, so yeah. End of an era. Fucking wow, man. Um, but yeah, please watch any of those. I also play a lot of RPGs. Uh, currently, I should be playing through Half-Life in case me talking about it got you in a mood for it and I played through Half-Life 1 earlier. I don't know which Half-Life I'm playing right now, actually. I haven't decided yet because I'm recording this in advance. Uh, but as mentioned, I will be playing uh, a Half-Life. And earlier this year, I played another one with my wife. So if you're in the mood for more alien shooters... Uh, and if you're in the mood for Bungie specifically in shooters, about a year ago, I recorded uh, Marathon, which is the trilogy of shooters they did before the Halo trilogy. And, you know, also before the Destiny trilogy, but I digress. Uh, so please, have a good day. See you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye. <laughs>